what's good youtube man we uh we back with another reaction video we about to react to um what the rules of cricket explain um i got a few subscribers that's from india um they wanted me to uh, react to some cricket so i gotta start off with the basics when i start off with a new sport that i don't know about so uh we about to react to the rules of cricket explain man make sure y'all tap in we try to get this channel to 10k subs i'm at 5500 subs man let's get it um slowly climbing um, i appreciate all the support i be getting i appreciate all the love i know i'm a genuine dude man so um this is this your channel just as much as mine man so if it's another reaction that y'all want to see drop it in the comments but uh, uh with that being said we about to hop right into it man let's get it <clears throat> Then explains the rules of cricket. The object of the game is for your team to score more runs than the opposing team. Teams are made up of 11 players with one substitute in case of injury. At the beginning of the game, a coin toss is used to determine who bats first. The fielding team will put all 11 players on the field, whilst the batting team will send out two batsmen. Batsmen always work in pairs, and a batsman cannot bat alone. The batsman's job is to score runs and defend their wickets. These wickets are three wooden stumps with two wooden bales resting on top of them. They try and hit the ball away from the wickets and run to their partner's crease. If a batsman hits the ball and both men safely run to the opposite crease, this scores one run. If the bowler bowls the ball high, wide, or throws a no ball, which is an illegal bowl, this automatically scores one run. If the batsman hits the ball along the floor and it reaches the boundary, this scores four runs automatically without the batsman having to run. Mm. And if the batsman hits the ball in the air and it goes over the boundary, this scores six, six automatic runs. runs. Okay, all right, all right. This let is let me the highest scoring player in cricket. It's the job of the fielding team to get the batsman out. And shout of the out game. to India too, man. I forgot to say that, man. Shout out to my people that's in India. The ball towards the batsman. To bowl the ball, a ball must be bowled overarm and be within the channel of play. In cricket, there are ten ways for a fielding team to get you out. Number one. Bowled out. Okay, if bowled the ball out. bowls Let's the ball see. and it hits the batsman's wickets and knocks over the bales, he's been bowled out. Number two, caught out. If the batsman hits the ball in the air and it's caught by a fielder, oh, if he's get been caught, caught, caught out. out. Okay, okay. Number three, run out. Run out. If right, the batsman see. runs for his partner's crease and the ball is thrown into the wickets okay. before the batsman gets there, so he's run been out, bowl out. out. Number four, LBW. If the ball hits the batsman's leg and the umpire thinks the, the ball would have hit the wickets if his leg wasn't in the way, he is ruled out by LBW. Leg before wicket. Leg before wicket. Number five, stumped out. If the batsman swings and misses the ball, the wicket keeper can catch the ball and push the ball into the wickets. If this happens before the batsman can return to the crease, he's been stumped out. Mm. Number six, hit wicket or accidental out. On the rarest of occasions, a batsman can get himself out or mm. his own partner out by accidentally hitting the wickets themselves. The other four ways to get out in cricket almost never happen in today's game. These include hitting the ball twice in one stroke, handling the ball, obstructing a fielding player, or taking too long to take to the field. Once a batsman is out, he's replaced by the next batsman in the batting team's lineup. Once 10 players are out, the players switch sides so that the batsmen are now the fielders and vice versa. The highest run total after both sides have had their turn to bat wins. That's basically the game in a nutshell, but there are a few other things you'll need to understand. A bowler must deliver six legal bowls to a batsman. Once six legal balls have been played, this is known as an over. Once an over is complete, a new bowler will then try and get the other batsman out by bowling the ball from the other side. Once both teams have finished batting, so what's this is the known as well, an innings. Like, what's the, the point of the overs? Innings vary depending on the format of cricket. Like, why are they keeping track of the cricket, overs? Each team is given 20 overs for one innings. This game generally lasts about three hours. In one day cricket, each team is given 40 or 50 overs for one inning. Must have missed some. That's, implies, like that's, that's why I got y'all to help me out though. In test cricket, there are no limits for overs and the game theoretically ends when all batsmen are out. And is usually Oh, okay, okay, minutes. okay, okay. This I get game it now. can last anywhere up to five days I get it. and is the oldest and longest form of cricket. If you're new to cricket, I highly recommend watching the highlights of any Indian Premier League game to start out with. If you're watching cricket on TV, they'll conveniently tell you how many runs have been scored how many batsmen are out, and they'll even tell you what the other team scored and how many runs are required to win the game. Okay. Cricket may seem like a slow game, but as you watch or play it, the rules will become clear. If you have found this video at all helpful, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right, all right, all right, bet, bet, bet. I'm about to tap into some cricket, man. Shout out to India too, man. Shout out to my subscriber that's uh, from India that requested this video as well, man. Uh, with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all, man. 
uh, <clears throat> Charlie for the channel to 10k subs, man. Let's get it, man. Smack that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop some comments, man, for the YouTube algorithm. With that being said, y'all stay safe, stay tuned, and we out.